April 1st. So all ice yet. No open water at all. All right, I'm gonna need two hands for this. It's on here so I don't lose them. This one stays hooked underneath in the back. Power cord. It hasn't been started for, I don't know, probably close to a month now. Half a tank of gas, I use only premium, ethanol free. Well, pretty good. This is a new one. One of the newer ones I've got. 24 volts, good rubber. You have 41 hours on it. Harbor Freight Generator, 3500 inverter. It's been a good generator. Runs our AC, you know, anything we need it for, microwave, coffee pot. But yeah, it's a, it's a pretty good generator. It's got the eco throttle, so it's off now. If I turn it on, that's where it idles. got the power here but what I want to do is I've got another one that I want to mount right in here right on the back here and then get a short cord to go from here to there and this thing's pretty quiet I mean I'm talking normal so it's electric start but it also has pole start on the side yeah I like it no complaints it's our second one first one had a ton of hours on it and I had the uh, extended service plan and it started to kind of surge up and down and I think it was because I was using cheap gas with ethanol in it and it started to uh, Kind of a surging issue so i went to look for parts at harbor freight and the guy actually told me oh don't even worry about buying the parts just bring the generator in and we'll replace it and it was geez six or seven months old at that time so here we are number two it's running fine i think the other one was actually fine too i think if it probably just needed to have a carburetor cleaning or what have you but they're good generators i don't care what anyone says I kind of go back to the way i mounted this so this rack comes with the camper factory it's supposed to fold up um, I've got it down I put a couple extra bolts in it down here just to hold it keep it from rattling and then I took the tires off so I've got just the spindle sticking out the axle spindle and that's uh, both sides and then I put a piece of half inch plywood under the axle to help with vibration and just to kind of get this up off of the, the rack a little bit more. And then underneath, I just double nutted it. And that's what holds it in so nobody can take it. We've been doing that for, this is the second one, but you had both together. It's been a year. I check it every now and then. And it doesn't go anywhere. And it's nice. It's just always ready to go at any time. And easy enough to get off if I do need to get it off. Yeah, I mean, I would definitely buy another one. 
and I would recommend it. Um, I can go about eight hours on a tank of gas. S six to eight, depending on if I'm running a load on it. Covers from Amazon. That's it. Not bad, not bad. All right, well, don't have much to report, but that's it.